Hold on, fellas, got a video from Inja Deck. Let's get into it. Hey, white man, so you may He's not have that person. No, actually, 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 can you're you wrong. Google and put a picture of my father on the screen, please? Yes. Listen, so because you just failed on step one by identifying me incorrectly. So, <laughs> so I'm not knowing two. you. I no, don't know step, you. Of course you don't know me. So you're asked. There you go. I don't know you. So I'm guessing you failed. So you did the same thing earlier to me. How? Where? In which? In which area have I once failed? We can run it back to the first ten minutes. You're, you don't want to run this interview back because when you <laughs> run it back, you're gonna see yourself get smoked the whole way through. <laughs> Why don't you ever talk about the men that yeah, don't man. pay child support? Because it's women like you who spread your legs with guys like that. OMG! I, no, why, why don't you ever talk about the responsibility of women no, who no, choose no, no, irresponsible no, no. males to, to no, procreate no, 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 with and then no, complain no, no, later when they're no, irresponsible? No, no. Can I please just say this? I was married once before, okay? Mm -hmm. My husband and I had a child together. Right. After I was tired of him me for two years, I left him. Really? But why did you tolerate it for two years? Can I? Can you tell me why you tolerated being for two years? I'd like to hear about this. My answer to that is because I was young and stupid. Okay, I agree with you. <laughs> young and stupid enough to be beat up? Dang. To just continue to take it? Who does that? There you go. You were stupid. No doubt about it. And now what are you going to complain that he doesn't pay child support? A guy who beat you for two years? Imagine that. The guy is irresponsible. Right. He beat me for two years, and now that deadbeat doesn't pay. So why is it my There's fault? your big concern. Now we see why you're so upset about this. You chose a manifestly irresponsible, violent individual to procreate with. Then you're amazed that the guy doesn't send you child support. You're still, you know what, dear? You were young and stupid. Now you're old and stupid. I mean, you're still stupid. No. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Want to see some footage of my music video? Not really. <laughs> Asking you money? a simple question. Do you give me money for the kids? What? Yes, I do. You if do? you if my if you say my son needs Pampers, he needs clothes, uh -huh. he needs sneakers, uh -huh. and you need money. I don't do that. I mean, you buy yes him. Yes or no. No, 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 no. no, no. no. You I do. don't send me money. You buy him stuff. How Even many times have I taken you to the grocery market and given you money to go grocery stop. shopping? I can If he's buying you if he's buying stuff for the kid, whenever you ask him to, and even sending money, what's the problem? Unless you wanted to get that money and spend it irresponsibly, which men are not going to want you to do. Caught. Go to text right now. Yo, send me a hundred dollars for groceries. Send me a hundred dollars for this. Send me a hundred dollars for that. Mm -hmm. hundred dollars off top. And it gets sent. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. Because if I, if I it doesn't, don't argue with you if right it doesn't get way. I don't want to argue because you're being held accountable. I mean, $100 this, $100 that, $100 this. And he's just sending it off top. You probably really don't even need that. He's just a bank to you, an ATM, is what most modern women consider men. That's crazy. Say I'm going to have an annoying chick monk bothering me. You're not just wrong, you're stupid. Now wait Shit just a crazy. minute. And you're ugly, just like your mom. She's a ten. No, I don't rate myself. You're, you're a ten. I'm sorry, you're a hundred. No, no. you're just a hundred. <laughs> I'm not going to rate myself none because that don't matter. It matters what's up here, period. Mine. Let's go! I'm a real Talk at money, baby. This Chanel, seven bands. <laughs> ten bands. I'm a real I, I thought it matters what's up here, and then you pointed to your TBL. Exactly. Listen, 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 listen. listen. I'm a few daiquiris in. Hi. <laughs> I used to live here. Huh? So. I used to live here. Huh? <laughs> my name is Jennifer. Jennifer? Yeah, I used to live up, and then my room was upstairs right there. Jennifer. Jennifer Lopez. Who's Jennifer Lopez? Me. I have never seen a more embarrassing display in my entire career. Like a man being like, I'm only. Listen, man, at that point, just leave. Just just quit talking. I think they were doing the documentary. <laughs> he don't know you. Cut that out. Don't let that footage see the light of day. If your PR, if your publicist lets that, allows that, <laughs> you need to fire them. Going to date younger women, like blah, 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 trying to just. Versus like, women saying, are they going to date rich men? And I'm going to do just this said if they that's pay transactional. Me. Yeah, but, but what's the he difference? He wants a young woman. Reverse it. What's the difference? What's paid. the metric? What's the standard that makes one that disgusting woman... and the other one acceptable? Cook. 
because she's it's asking. It's a genuine because it's because she's thing. seeking out yeah. the relationship. It's a transactional relationship. It's and, not and a man going after a woman based on inexperience. And he's seeking out a relationship too. And maybe he wants a woman who's younger. He's had number one less bodies because let's let's keep it real. The older a woman gets, the more bodies she's had. And what problem? Purity what is problem valued, is that? Pure, purity is valued. So do you think that that man has culture, to be pure as well? Every single religion. Oh, 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 no, you? because men and women are different, and men have to yes. work really hard to get. Women. Oh my God. He got cooked. When I became a single parent, I was told that's the best thing that ever happened to you. Now you don't have to worry about the father ever messing up your plans, the father ever changing anything that you wanted to mind you. This is a woman told me that an older woman. And I just looked at her and I was so upset about my situation. I'm like, well, I want my kid's father in their life and all that. She was like, no, no, you don't. So you had She wanted you to raise a she oh. wanted you to raise a convict. She wanted you to raise a dope dealer and a scammer. She wanted you to raise you a pimp and a harlot. Talk That's what she wanted them. you to raise. Because the thing about fathers instill discipline in their sons and chastity into their daughters. A lot of these out here just didn't have no daddy, so they don't know. Because daddy would have cut that shop ASAP. What about the women who have been very promiscuous? Mm. You know, been a Did they enjoy themselves? Very much so. <laughs> but it. now they're reaching to an age where they realize that they want to find a husband and kids. They're mm. turning to God. Yeah. And, you know, they're keeping themselves at home. Are, th are those women still a <laughs> No, they're just a holy jersey. <laughs> women in life don't know. Mm -hmm. They just don't know. And then there we they go don't. back to the same thing. Well, women just don't know. Are you a free woman with your own rights, beliefs? We are right? free. That's okay, the thing. But you we can't... Just don't, we're not knowledgeable. Oh. We don't... So now you're not it's knowledgeable. How you're raised. So now you can't make it your is. own decisions. You see? And no accountability whatsoever. See, when you want to figure out what your man is doing and what he's not doing, he's sneaking around, he's snooping around, then you're doing the same. I'm looking at this. Hey, have y'all had any situation or something that's happening like this? You do your best to figure out if that man is doing you wrong. Now, when you put in the position to not do something, oh, I didn't know I was knowledgeable. <laughs> Man, these modern women be saying any, oh, I, I didn't know. <laughs> Stop that, man. Come on. See this? You can't sit here and place accountability on other people for your bad decisions, but then say that you have authority over your own life. It doesn't work that way. You can't say, oh, I f***ed up. Woe is me. It wasn't my fault. And then when you do something good, I did it on my own because I'm a strong, independent woman. You can't have it both ways. This is the difference between men and women. Men just take accountability. When they f*** up, oh, I f***ed up. When they do they something to. good, I did something well, good. Thing and when women f*** up, as we just saw in real time, what did she say? Woe is me. I didn't know better. I, I was just know. in love. Just take f***ing accountability, dude. Because how are you going to self-improve? Without accountability, there's no forcing function for self-improvement it doesn't feel good to hear it but you gotta be willing to say i how do i better my behavior instead of saying it's all his fault because he was a bad man cool but then you're gonna go into another relationship with someone new and go into the same circumstance because you didn't learn anything honestly you have a lot of modern women that don't take accountability because the bug doesn't stop with them why would they all of the weight is not going to be on their shoulders at the end of the day they can just pass it off, off to somebody. Oh, I couldn't see. My glasses are broken. I broke my ankle. That's why I was speeding. My foot just wouldn't move. Please don't give me a ticket. Crying. I think I saw where a woman, <laughs> a woman tried to show her chest <laughs> to a cop. <laughs> that, that is illegal, ma'am. And that is, and that's a crime. <laughs> you are now a criminal. And if he were to take you to jail, then you'd be upset. Why has this happened to me? Because you're committing criminal offenses, but you're going to pass the buck because society in a lot of different situations has taught these women, these specific modern women, you don't have to be accountable for your actions. There are no consequences. Just say a man did it. Just say the patriarch and you should be okay. <laughs> I know one thing, you'll never find another chick like me. <laughs> on a real note not eating at certain restaurants on the first date is showing a lot of y'all intentions and how y'all ain't dating for love y'all dating for a come up i think is some of y'all don't need to be eating at the cheesecake factory no way because y'all can't mm -hmm. even cook mcdonald's so you don't need to be eating you need to be in the back in the kitchen taking notes like refusing to eat at a chain restaurant on a first date yet you eat at a chain restaurant for the whole week mm -hmm. what's the difference truth be told y'all just want these men to take y'all somewhere that y'all can't afford to take y'all yeah. self hey!
Amen. I had to go to jail for a year straight or spend every weekend in jail for five years. Steady trying to find a motive, motive. Why do what I do? Give me that year. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the frustration of women because what they're saying is there's not a big pool of good men. That's a lie. That's Mama, not a that, lie. That is a That's lie. That's not a lie. Listen. What? There's not a lot of good men who want y'all. There's a lot of good men out there like they, where the good man at? Like they hiding under a rocker in a cave. They everywhere. They at the gas station. They at Costco. They at the bank. They walking right past you and you don't show up on their radar because of the way you are. They're going to walk right by you. Your pretty face ain't going to go too far because everybody's pretty. That's a prerequisite. So if that's all you got to offer, we're not looking at you. There's plenty of good men. They just don't want your ass. I ain't never heard no woman say, I know I ain't. She'll say, this man ain't. He ain't. She was bad. He was bad. But for the most part, every woman think they're a good woman. What makes you a good good woman. Who's auditing that you're a good woman? You are auditing yourself. Why don't you ask your exes what they think? Because all your relationships diminished and ended in, in turmoil. Lady, stop saying you want a real man. Yeah. Stop saying like that. I'm so tired of that. You want a real man, but you're not real. No, I don't mean, I'm not trying to, you know, throw shade, but like you want a real man, but you let's, let's keep it real if we can. Keep it or as to somebody, as you young people say, let's keep it a buck. <laughs> Stop saying you want a real man, but you're not real. Fake hair, fake eyebrows, fake eyelashes, fake fake. You don't know you. But you tell me, you, I want you to get to know me better. I can't because half of you's on the dresser over there. You better not ever come up missing. What did she look like? I don't know. But there's a bunch of clues on the dresser over there. <laughs> I think we'll end it there. That's an oldie but goodie. Uh, hey, listen, as you can see on the screen, uh, follow this young lady here in Jadek, I think is where you say her name. Good video. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think a lot of men care if you dab here, dab there. But I think most of the time it's just you going overboard and you don't even look like yourself. Right. So you're wanting a man to be truthful and upfront about how much he makes or what he weighs or how tall he is, maybe you should follow suit and not change your, yourself so much that <laughs> you're unrecognizable. Nobody wants that. That would be a catfish. Anyway, that's just my opinion. To the next video, <laughs> I'm out.